a nondescript case of energy drink I bought earlier today. Perhaps I would consider removing the blur if only they would sponsor me. Welcome to another episode of Ashley and Friends Do Some Dumb Challenge! I'm your host, Ashley. Now let's meet my friends. Our first contestant is the considerably enthusiastic Matthew Santoro. Hey everyone, my name's Matthew Santoro and uh, Ashley asked me to be a part of this double bubble challenge and all I gotta say is I'm Canadian and uh, I got sugar running through my veins because you know I drink maple syrup every day. What? Next we have the markedly less enthusiastic, Candace. I'm Candace and I make videos. Surprise. And finally, perhaps the least enthusiastic of all, Pano. Hi everybody, my name's Pano, I'm 18 years old and that's it. Now that you've met the group, let's spin the wheel and see what game the contestants will be playing today. Challenge! What's that? I don't know. I found it somewhere on Tumblr. These challenges are kind of like whose line? The rules and the winning don't actually matter? It's more about the comedy! Leave a comment if you know what whose line is. So I don't feel so old. So contestants, tell me, how are you feeling about today's challenge? So I guess we're doing the double bubble challenge, which is where we shove a bunch of gum in our mouth. Sounds like Chubby Bunny kidding. Is this an advantage? So I went to my local grocery store to get double bubble bubble gum and then I read the nutrition facts on it and there's 20 calories in one piece of gum. That's 6,000 calories worth of bubble gum in my mouth. Let me tell you something about that because I'm not about to gain 14 pounds doing this. So I bought <laughs> bubble gum flavored tried in gum so I don't get fat. What I think they meant to say is that they're incredibly pumped. This is a great challenge idea, Ashley. Thanks for organizing everything and also editing it. I'm going to be on the edge of my seat until it's posted. This is the point where I'm supposed to talk about how I'm going to win this challenge, but honestly, chances are I'm going to lose it because I'm <laughs> using fucking trotting gum. Alright, that's enough chatting. On to the challenge! One, two, three. Ow. Okay. Chubby bunny. Oh my. Mm -mm. Oh. Chubby bunny. These are bigger than I thought. This is the most gluttonous thing I've done all week. I predict I get at least 60 cavities. I hope I don't dislocate my jaw. I'm losing my ability to talk. Maybe I should wear a shower cap so the bubble doesn't get my hair. I'm safe now. Ashley, I don't feel good. Ashley, uh. <laughs> why? No! Woo! Here goes nothing. Hot. Oh! That was a bubble. Up. And that's a wrap on the bubble gum challenge. Tell me, contestants, how are you feeling? I look tough with pink bubble gum all over my face. <laughs> I didn't enjoy doing that at all. If you'd like to purchase my chewed gum on Etsy, it is Etsy. Just kidding. And the winner with a bubble the size of a small child, <laughs> Ashley Martell. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever won one of my own challenges. Hooray! Make sure you check out these three tubers because they are the coolest of cats. Also, who do you want to see in the next 
challenge video? Let me know in the comments. All right, I'll see you next week. Okay, bye. Follow me on Twitter. I've been asked on behalf of Ashley to have you subscribe and like. Pretty please for me. Like for me, please like for me. Pretty please for me, I'll give you fake money.